Okay, Sarah, new video tonight at five showing some tense moments between police and a driver in Charlotte. A local man says he had a frightening encounter with CMPD this week and it was all caught on camera. WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes spoke with the man today. Tanya, what does he say happened? Yeah, so Fred, it's actually interesting that you're calling him a driver because that's kind of a point of contention right now. He was in a car, but that car was on a truck bed and it wasn't operational. So he says he wasn't driving and therefore he didn't need to show an ID. Let me get out of the car then. This is the moment Jose Avilar says a Charlotte Mecklenburg police officer took it too far. He went from zero to 100 like real quick. Avilar dropping off a car at his brother-in-law's auto repair shop off of Tondo Avenue. <laughs> when police pulled up, saying they heard a report about an alarm going off. Hey, um, did you hear an alarm? Did you see anybody going in that building? It was actually across the street from us. The police left, but quickly came back, asking for IDs. And then he came to me and asked me for my paperwork, and I told him I don't have to give it to you. I didn't break any type of laws. Um, he was like, no, you need to give me your ID. Um, if you want to make this a thing, we can make it a thing. That's when Avilar's okay. wife started recording. Unless I committed a crime, what's the crime? Yeah. As you can see the CMPD officer grabbing Avilar's leg, pulling him out of the car. The officer's body-worn camera dropping to the ground. I was more pissed off than fear, like fearful. A quick skim of defense attorneys' websites will show you there's no stop and identify statute. So if you're not driving a car, you don't have to show ID. Avilar's car clearly on the back of a truck bed, and he says he knows his rights. Probably assume I didn't have any papers, I didn't speak English, whatever, mm -hmm. and I was going to say anything or I was just going to back to what he said. Mm -hmm. And I, oh, I didn't know my rights. And that happens a lot. Hands up! Don't shoot! But as all the demonstrators in Charlotte will tell you, that doesn't mean those rights will be respected equally. That double standard, even troubling Carolina lawmakers on Capitol Hill. Why is it that uh, if you're a young black person, man, and the cops pull up behind you, you get really worried, and I don't. Uh, Tim Scott's been stopped six times on Capitol Hill. I've never been stopped. Calling for an overhaul of policing methods. Avilar hoping that message will trickle down to CMPD. And no business, like the, when they pulled up, they me like a criminal already without even knowing anything about me, nothing like that. So we reached out to CMPD, we sent them the video, we asked them for comment, but they never got back to us. Avilar says he's filing a complaint. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte. Tanya, thank you.